Hi, hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Um, as you can see, today we're in my living room slash dining room slash kitchen slash a showcase for this lovely wallpaper. But I'm finally getting my roommates, although I don't know where they are. And here is one of them now. Hey! This is Sophie. Anyway, today we're filming a Nando's mukbang, obviously. Two thousand years later. Hi! So we finally got the third one in. This is Sophia. Right, can we talk about this for a second? What's that? We get problem. plain chips at Nando's. We all get literally the exact same thing. Well, uh, welcome to our uni house. This is the first like proper video I'm filming here. This is so exciting. Anyway, as you can see, we've got Nando's and we're just gonna do a mukbang, talk about uni. I always get like most of my questions are obviously about uni because it's the majority of the content I make. So yeah, we're gonna talk about uni, talk about our first year, mm -hmm. give, you, give you some advice. So the main question is always like how did how did well let's answer how we met. Uh, I would say the main reason I have any friends is because of Facebook group chat. <laughs> Facebook group. So I joined a freshers group on Facebook and if I'm being honest, this might sound really bad, but I went through all the members of the group <laughs> and I like looked at who I thought I could be friends with. I was basically looking for people who might be similar to me. Um I found Molly who's one of my friends who actually dropped out, but she was at the uni for two weeks. And also Ellie. I don't know how I found she Ellie. She was a junior. I really can't remember. But it must have been from a Facebook thing. Like or a WhatsApp, WhatsApp, group WhatsApp group chat. Group chat. But yeah, so then from that Facebook group, I found a link to a Butler group chat. And Butler was the building that I was, like the halls I was staying in. So I joined that. And then maybe Ellie messaged me from there. But either way, I found people on like the internet and then started messaging them before uni had even started. And then through Molly, she went to school with Sophie. So I met Molly and I met Sophie. Mm -hmm. And then obviously I I was talking to Ellie, who introduced me to Sophia. And then I met Sophia through Gemma. And then look at us now. What was what's my tips on how to make friends? I didn't do any kind of Facebook group chats. Oh, I didn't okay. think about that. I don't I know how you them. you figured out about that, but I didn't really think about that because my friends from other unis were on them. So I was like, oh shoot, I need to like get on that. I moved in to my uni halls the first day I could. So that's like when the first students were going in. So there was no one else there, and then I pretty much was by myself for the first night. I was eating dinner by my- this is actually quite depressing. <laughs> I was eating dinner by myself in the kitchen. And by the kitchen there's like a large window and I saw a group of students walk by and then they knocked on my window. Do you know anyone around here? I was like, no, I don't know anyone. They were like, join this group chat, which was the group chat for the halls we were living in. Which happened to be yeah, the same one as me. Exactly. And then through that, I got the names of the people that will be moving into my mm. hall. I met Ellie there, and then we spent the first week together, and then you moved in that the next week weekend. Later. So yeah. yeah, and then we met. But I do think, like, joining Facebook chats and then WhatsApp group chats. Or Instagram like, stuff, I don't know. Yeah, whatever social media, I think they have Snapchat ones. Yeah, like Snapchat, that. yeah. But like, really important, because otherwise you'll get there and be like, oh my god. Like, I'd met Molly before I went, but obviously mm -hmm. she wasn't even living there, she was commuting, so that wasn't very yeah. helpful. But because I was already talking to Ellie before I got there, she was like, oh, you're here. And then, like, at least I knew, like, there was at least one person I could go and see, and I wouldn't sit and eat my dinner by myself, <laughs> like you. But yeah, they're really helpful, and I found most of my flat from WhatsApp before I joined mm -hmm. as well. So definitely get on those because otherwise I don't know where I'd be. And don't be scared to talk to people first. Like don't be scared to introduce yourself. Don't do. Yeah. <laughs> don't do everything you're invited to. Yeah, in the on first, first week. week you need to because that will help you so much. You'll meet so many people that's the only Even if the people that invite you like you don't, you don't like. think you're gonna be friends with, like you'll meet other people. Exactly. There. It's kinda hard to ask to answer a lot of the questions and the questions. We were in lockdown for most of second term. Yeah. Well, we we only lived there for three months. So if you yeah. never lived there at all, she yeah, was so commuting. Only, yeah. Obviously, like it didn't really apply in our year because 
of covid but i know this year like we're gonna join a lot of like clubs and stuff so yeah so yeah that's definitely another way of society people. who are also probably similar to you like if we want to we, we want to do like dance and cheer so obviously like if you're doing that in first year and you don't know anyone chances are you're going to meet a lot of people who are like really similar to you i hope so i always get a lot of questions about like accommodation so obviously we both lived in halls we happen to be in the same one so i've not got like the broadest <laughs> view on it but i mean we've been to other people's halls and we've seen so she's been all around the block <laughs> and also like what to bring because I feel like a lot of people bring like a ridiculous amount of stuff to uni that they definitely don't need. Yeah. So our accommodation process was like, we basically got listed every single type of accommodation and we had to put them in order. We didn't choose like a top five or a top three or whatever, which I know other unis do. We go to Royal Holloway University of London, by the way. I don't think I said that. <laughs> Might not have heard of it. I hadn't either. Did I come here? <laughs> nope. <laughs> but yeah, we ended up getting ones that we really liked. Our accommodation is very expensive though because we're technically a uni of London. And we had a really nice one. Yeah. We had a double bed and, and an, ensuite. A, an ensuite, which most very accommodations, yeah, don't give. And we shared a kitchen between eight people and I was nervous at first, but actually it's not that bad. Because not all eight people are in the kitchen at the same time. Most of the time ones. there's no one else or one exactly. person in the kitchen. And you had like two sinks and two fridges. Yeah. yeah. And also, usually you'll like bring your mates in. So even if there is other people, like even if you don't get on with your flat, it's not awkward. Like we weren't, we didn't not get on with our flats, but we weren't like best friends with them. Mm -hmm. It's not like awkward at all, I don't think. Although sometimes it's really annoying because people don't do the washing up and then <laughs> the sinks get stacked and then you can't do your own washing up. I didn't enjoy that part yeah. there. But you just have to deal with that stuff. You just have to speak to them and you'll get through it. It's only a year. That God. sounds so encouraging. You'll get through it. <laughs> you will survive it. No, but if you do end up with not the nicest people, yeah, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> no, like you, 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 you no. end up spending most of your time in your friend's kitchen. Exactly. Or anyway. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. most of my meals, I was either cooking in your kitchen or Ellie's kitchen or whoever's, and mm -hmm. or you were cooking in mine. Like, we yeah. didn't really do that much by myself. Exactly, I barely knew by myself, actually. No, I'm other than like breakfast sometimes. Uh -huh. I would say one of the most important things to bring to actual accommodation is like extra storage boxes. Yeah. And Slipper knows sure. about that. Yeah, I've got my slippers. And slippers, oh my god. The you floors are disgusting. Sliders or flip flops or something because you cannot walk outside your room without having shoes on. It's so gross. Mm -hmm. That's the most yeah, essential. Yeah, that is definitely the most essential. Mm -hmm. Oh, extension cords because there's like two plugs in every oh, yeah. room. Also, our entire, I mean, maybe this is because of COVID, but our entire year was online. Some I never people. printed off a single thing. I never had to write anything down. Yeah, yeah everything's online. online. It's so much more organized for all your notes to be on your laptop anyway. That way, as long as you're saving them, you're not going to lose them. You're on Google Docs. You don't want to be carrying like a massive bag around with notebooks and stuff mm. in it. And you don't use them. Like, no. I bought so many folders and like stationery and notepads and stuff. Didn't use a single thing. So, like one essential things. I would recommend is what are those things called that you save things on to? Like the little hard drive. Yeah, because I nearly lost all of my work in first year when I was doing one assignment and it was a very stressful time because yeah. I hadn't saved anything. Like, That's why I say do it on Google Docs because then you can get onto yeah. it from any computer or anything. Yeah, or iCloud or whatever. Yeah, but even, like, even if you're using the library, computers at the library, you can get onto Google Docs. Mmm. Mm. Annoying thing is you can't make folders on Google Docs. Oh, and bring enough socks and underwear. Because you won't do washing Yeah, much. you barely do washing. <laughs> I think we use the washing machine like four times. Yeah, to pay every single time. And it's so it. expensive. And washing tablets are expensive as well. So the whole thing is just horrendous. And exactly. also, buying toilet roll is a big shock to the system. <laughs> but you're going to have to do it. Okay, do we talk about a bit about like, the actual workload and like our courses? <laughs> Yeah. So I do management and marketing. Sophie does business management. It's basically the same course. Nothing we've done has been different yet. What do you do, madam? Psychology. I would honestly say that the workload of first year, at least, obviously that's all we've got to go off. It ain't that deep. <laughs> like, it really wasn't that much. Compared to like, obviously I had a whole year off. I'd had a gap year. These two are babies, so they didn't. And I was so used to doing nothing for a year, obviously. I mean, half of it was in lockdown, so I literally did nothing. I did three science at A-levels. And honestly, compared to those two years, I think first year really was not that bad. I don't think the actual amount is bad, but I mean, I would just say like, 
don't leave it till last minute like we did with some of them and i know it's easy to say and we'll probably still do the same thing this year but it just makes everything 10 times more stressful and then you get to the point where you you can't really ask your lecturers questions because you've left it till so last minute it's embarrassing to be like i've not started this yet <laughs> Just look at what everything is due and when it's due so you can plan out how long you need because especially in first year they yeah. like to make all of the assignments due in the same week. Like yeah. make we sure had four massive out. essays due that were all worth 70% of that module literally within three days of each other. Yeah, so it's completely independent. Like you could literally do zero hours a week if you wanted to. So you have so much free time that it's really easy to feel like you've not got anything to do and like just not do any work mm -hmm. and then suddenly you've got to do all of it at one go Hell. and also like they don't explain things as well as they do in school like it's less workload but you don't get things laid out for you you have to no. figure out a lot by yourself look how soggy my lettuce is yeah so I just take hers out as well yours looks great so we were stressed second year housing you basically have to decide it by like january yeah, and you have to start latest. looking before that we actually never viewed our house obviously because like covid they basically wouldn't let us so that was a bit of a gamble i wouldn't recommend doing that but <laughs> it's really stressful because you have to kind of choose who you're going to live with in first term and luckily for us like we're still friends <laughs> but like our literally chat that we have on snapchat now is called homeless because we literally thought we weren't going to be able to find a house because they were all just going and we couldn't find any that lightning liked. speed and they weren't very nice yeah. around here or they were really in january yeah. you wouldn't think that everyone has a house by january but they do like people are organizing it like first term it's because third year students will get it as soon as like yeah because they already know if they're their happy friends with are. their house they'll get it for next year as well so yeah it's yeah like, we'll be off fine off year. Year. yeah but yeah, I would definitely say start looking early. Even if you don't know exactly who you're going to live with, just try and look at some houses and see like what the price range is. Like you need to get people who are kind of in the same budget as you or just someone who's really rich. I don't know. <laughs> she actually pays, mean, the I'm like more. She pays the whole house. Yeah, because you've got the biggest room. Yeah. I'd say £20 more a month. Not enough if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I think at the end of the day, like, even if you move in with people who you're not best friends with anymore by the time you move in, yeah. it's not everyone sees each other. Like, we go around to other people's houses all the time. Like, you're not trapped in that house. No. And uni hasn't even started yet. And once it does, you're going to be busy all the time. And, like, one of our friends is living with people that she doesn't even really know that well. And, like, it's fine. Like, she just, she just spend time with who you want to spend time with. So I, like, don't overthink it that much. The most important thing is actually having somewhere to live. Because, as we know, not having a house causes a lot of tension yeah. in the group. <sighs> But yeah, I don't think there's really anything, any other big questions I get other than like, how do you find your course? And no, don't, you can't bring your car to campus, especially not on our campus. Most campuses, like if it's an actual campus uni, you can't bring your car, so just forget it. Yeah. I always get asked that. I had a bailiff, so what are they called? Um, yeah, well, they did want to send bailiffs. So that's what they're called, bailiffs? Yeah. You got fined, yeah. I had bailiffs coming to my house. Because she didn't pay off because I didn't They came to your house? house? They were no, going they to. Were go they sent a letter to say they were going to. But yeah, because they saved most of the car parking spaces for like yes. people who are commuting and yeah. staff. Mm. Anyway, if you've got any more questions about uni, let us know and I'll try and answer them or we'll answer them in another video. I love you both. Thank you for Do joining me today. Oh, yeah. school you're in the present. All my other... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful if you're going to uni this year. Good luck. Have fun. Don't take it too seriously. Like, it will work out. It might feel really, really lonely and stressful and ugh, terrifying at the beginning. I remember feeling literally like I was going to be sick for about a week straight. Mm. But look at me now. Happy as Larry. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> anyway, good luck. Have fun. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. And I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye. 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 <laughs>